Yo, hello everybody, this is my version 1.3 Nextbot tutorial. As you can see, it, it, this is actually going to be one of the best Nextbot tutorials ever. Bef any Nextbot before this video is actually bad, this one's better because it, it's more simple to manage, basically. Okay, so... I'm just gonna run you through the basics. OMG, we have humanoid image. Oh my gosh, we have the random jump script. Oh my gosh, we have two AI chase scripts because apparently they work better when there are two. Oh my gosh, we have um 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 um, 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 um we have a hitbox inside the torso. Oh my gosh, we have an insert sound. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, use the sound ID. And oh uh, oh uh, oh uh, oh, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do all of it. So in the humanoid, all of this has to be turned off. Auto-rotate, jump platform, stand, sit, break joints, as that requires neck. Literally, you don't need to, any of that. You can just change it off. Always have the jump on. Well, like, jump settings, auto-jump enabled, and jump power. These settings only. And change the walk speed to a fast number. In my opinion, I love 100. So, yeah, that's perfect. Always keep the health at a super max number. And, yeah. So, in the jump script, it's just a random jump. Just change this number from when you want to change it to jump. For some reason, I can't get the jump mechanic to work, so what I have to do is do random jumping, and it actually helps. So, in both of these, they are the exact same script. They just, they just go together to program and work better for some reason. I don't know why, but I can see a major difference. But basically, you only need to worry about the distance um, and... That's basically it. You, all of this does it for you. There's some little things that you can do, like if you change this number, when it k hits the player, it will stop, right? But when if you change it to like 10, or if you change it to 1,000, it won't stop when it hits you. It will follow your dead body. This just changes how many rays a second it will um, try to pathfind to you my recommendation is 1000 for both scripts but yeah this is just an extra variable just in case i was just kind of keeping it there for now but yeah that's basically it don't worry about any of these body parts you just mainly have to look into the torso so i'm going to point to you the hitbox literally all it is is you can resize it if you want and do whatever and that kills the player and now for the sound ID. Okay, so you're going to go to models, and then you're going to go to audio, and then you're going to find your audio thing. You're going to right click or two finger click if you're on MacBook. You're going to copy the asset ID. You're going to go all the way down to the sound ID box. You're going to get rid of whatever text is already there and paste in your sound ID, whatever. And then, boom, you did it. And then press enter. So you can just do that. You change the roll off max distance for how far you want to hear the sound and all that type of stuff. And basically, that's all it is. It's really simple, and I think it's really good. It's one of the best models out there, so let's go. What? Dang. Yeah, I'm fine, right? Okay, cool. Never mind. Whoa! What? He can climb? Hot, you can't get down. Easy. <laughs> Welcome to Mick Pepper. Welcome to the- <laughs>